Okay, I bought this switch on Amazon for two ten, and right now they're going for at least the blue and the red version um, for about two eighty everywhere. I can't get below two fifty for sure. But somehow Amazon just had one where it was cheap enough. Um, I did pop it open a little bit. To see, make sure I didn't have to cut anything on the screen or on the the tape. So I'm doing a little unboxing video. These uh, red and blue ones are almost obsolete for new, for a good price. Everybody must really like them. As we're opening, plug it in. Uh, I got the Nintendo Switch Lite, and them don't come apart. It's kind of nice they'll come apart on this, and I can put the screen somewhere else. Make sure you push the little button, I guess. There's a little button. And the power button. Nothing's wrapped. Now, this is used, but with Amazon, you can always not like they're used. Then we're probably going to have to be charged. Doesn't look like you can plug uh, plug them into anything other than the switch itself, or maybe a, a stand. Must be dead. No, it's trying to do something here. Oh! Oh! It kicked on! What do I do? Oh my gosh, it's working. Um, they must, it must, it better be almost dead. It came, took forever to come in the mail. A couple days. Let's see if that one pairs up. Oh, that one paired up. That's weird. Little buttons on the side. S, L, R, S. Oh, that's your buttons. Your Z, L, Z. The R, there's the buttons. Must have a little battery inside of them. There's this, there's a motion detector app. This must be the thing. Infrared. Then a connect button. Doesn't have any battery indicators on it. I'm alright with that. Put them to the side. Now the switch itself. Same spot for the button to shut it off as the switch light. Volume up, down. The fan. Can't really feel it run. Can't smell it run. My other one was a used and uh, there were smokers and I could smell the smoke coming out of that. Headphone jack, game cartridge, darn, nothing in there. Nice screen, I don't see any scratches for it being used. Looks like there's going to be a light sensor right there. Microphone right there. Uh, maybe a hinge right there to pull the screen off. I don't really know what that is. USB-C to charge if you want. Two screws tear off the front of the screen, and I think there's two on the top. One there. I've had the switch light apart. A million screws on the side, both sides, the back of it, vent holes. I don't think them are the speakers. They could be, could be wrong. I think this is a stand. I know this video is coming out way late. Switch has been out forever, but hey, a views of you. There we go. Stand works nice, clicks out. Then that's where your micro SD card goes, which you'll definitely need because these things don't have any storage on them. It is a bit chipped up on the back, but that don't bug me too much. If you guys can see that. And I should be able to just slide it right in. Turn it on, see if it makes a switch sound. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now let's see what else is in here, and then I'll do a setup video. It's just a fake box. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. We got a used name brand. Is it name brand? It is... It should say Nintendo on it. There it is, Nintendo. I was expecting to say it down here somewhere. Nintendo. We have a... I don't know what that is. Does that clip on to... Does that clip on to these? I guess that clips on to these to make it... So you can game with it. Oh yeah, I got two of them. Okay, that's pretty cool. I ended up... I got a 3D printer, so my buddy ended up printing me off. A bit wiggly. 
printing me off the steering wheel and all that, and then I don't have to buy it myself. So that, that's pretty cool. There's two of them. Let's see if they're both the same. Yep, they're both the same. They do have a lock on there. Put that back in there. And it looks like we have the newer version. I didn't know it came with all this. Comes with the joy pad. I think they're called joy pads still. This does not charge it though, I know that. So there you go, your little gaming. That's pretty nice. Fits firm. It's kind of nice how they integrated everything in. Uh, there is no charger though. They could have just added something as simple as that. A little hook to carry it. I right, still gotta push them buttons to get them out. Uh, I know someone else that has one of these switches and they don't have the buttons. They just come right out. It's kind of hard when you're holding this. Because if you're holding it like this, it'll probably want to just slide the screen out. Okay, and then the biggest docking station on Earth. I've already bought one, too, so I don't have to use this. It's just big and gaudy. How big that thing is. Two USB ports on the side. They don't say how fast they are. Looks like this opens. We'll get to that in a second. So the switch will go in here. The switch light will not fit in here, so don't think it will. It finds its little place and snaps right in. I don't think it looks that good in that, but it'll do. The switch light is too narrow. The joysticks end up hitting both sides. I've seen people try to do that. Looks like it's got cord management with the back of this, which is pretty nice. It looks like it uses these two little nipples to kind of line this up to put it in there. Which that's, that's pretty nice. That works out good. Okay. So we got HDMI out. USB if maybe you're running a, um, a mouse or something. You also got the two USB ports over here. And then the AC adapter which is just USB-C. Which that's even nice because it's modern. Uh, it's got a little area up here for anything, it seems. And you can just hide your cords in there. And it's good to go. Sit just like that somewhere. There we go. Now let's set this thing up. First time setup. Just charged it a little bit. Enough so it'll do a setup and not have any problems. We're going to do a setup in the Americas. If this thing picks it up. The Americas. Of course, you accept the terms. My uh, Wi-Fi pass. My Wi-Fi's are uh, pretty inappropriate. I have to type in my password. Bam! Typed it in. I'm sure, it's going to have an update or something. It's still being charged. Maybe up the person updated it before they gave it to me. feels so much bigger and bulkier than the light. It is bigger, but it feels so much bulkier. Unable to connect to internet. Guess what? will have to type it in again. Unable to connect to now. We'll try it again. Typed it in again. Let's see if it works. Nothing. Okay, I have two networks in my house. I'm going to go ahead and signal maybe too poor. Try again. Sure, it's too poor. I'm about three feet from my router. Guess we'll try this one. Okay, we're trying the other network. Okay, it just I use a hotspot routed through a router. It's weird that it doesn't like the router. Instead it wants the hotspot. That's the hub. Whatever. 
works. Uh, we live in New York. Would you like later? Detach the joysticks from the controller. Must be doing a test. Use the right stick to select next and press A on the controller. You can use the Joy-Con. Yes, I know, I know. The user will be added to the console. Import. Let's... Oh, we can't skip it. Can I put these back on? I don't really feel like holding it like that all day. Um... If you have existing user data on another console, then you can copy otherwise create a new user. Yeah, let's try that. Do you, do you still have the other... Gotta get my other switch. Okay, we have the other switch right here. I'm gonna do it off... No, nope, you know what? Okay, we have to go to settings. Do you still have the other console with the user you want to input? Yes. Will you keep the previous? Yes, we're keeping both. Link, and then we're gonna link. Link, I guess. I guess we don't. System update. We knew that was a coming. Shouldn't take too long. 30 minutes, 9 minutes, 6 minutes, 5. Four. So it's going to take about four minutes. I'm just going to skip right to it. It's been five minutes. I just paused it and let it sit there. And uh, we still have two minutes to go. Coming up on about ten minutes on the acclaimed four minute update. Hit A just to tell it to restart, I guess. I'm not going to put a uh, SD card in it at the moment. A user will be added. Going to do the same stuff I've already told it. I can sign in straight on the screen. It'll work for me. It's wanting me to launch that. The phone I'm actually using right now is uh, what gives me the code, so I'm going to have to uh, get on it and check it out. Just gave me a code that was on my phone. I like it, but there's too many ways to verify stuff now. One minute, you got to have an ad, then Google wants to send you an email. It will add me to the console. I don't know if it's going to automatically download everything. We'll skip that and add anybody else later. Um, I already have that. Don't need to go through that. Parental controls. Always skip that and can do it later. Setup is complete. Looks like I press back or the home button, but let's see if the home button works. And it's blank. Oh, it's got just a little bit of battery. 20% it says. So it came clear to my house in the mail. Had a little bit of juice. Let's go see if there's any... Uh, no, nope, none of that. Settings look the same as a, uh, other than TV settings. There's nothing different than um, uh, what a normal switch small has. 
you can always hold on this and it brings you up quick settings. Oh, I guess you do have auto brightness because it has um, the sensor down here where my foot or foot where my foot yeah where my foot's at. Let's see how many gigabytes this console is, just in case it has less. That's 25 gigabyte. Perfect. Do a few downloads on that. Okay, and that's the setup. Guess we can go into the store. At the current time, the store is still going. Nintendo likes to discontinue their stores. Really builds the confidence of the people that bought their products. Skip the password for next time. Probably going to have to type it in off screen. Okay. Oh my gosh, now it wants that code generator again. I put on don't do it again, so maybe it won't do it after this initial setup. Okay, it's time to be right in. The store, the current moment, Game Builder Garage just came out. This does work a lot faster than the, uh, the other switch. Turn that down for, oh, no, it still messes up just as much. If there's any games on sale. Nothing. But let's go over here and click on re-download and download something off my other device. Of course we're going to start off with Mario Kart. Download started. So it should be on my home screen. There we go. See if we can get to at least 1% in this video. Let's see what kind of download options we have. Cancel download. It's going to take three hours to download that. That's all right. At least it's given us a time. Yeah, that's a setup for uh, the Nintendo Switch, the fat one. I'm going to call it the fat because that's fat, that's skinny. Look at that. And we go an hour and six minutes. Thanks for watching.